First this evening, we're now finding out how Governor Greg Abbott wants to punish cities that cut funding for police. He spent a year promising to defund law enforcement after Austin City Council voted to shift $150 million out of the police department budget. KXM Politics reporter John Engel explains the proposal and what it means for Austin. We're not going to let cities in Texas follow the lead of cities like Portland and Seattle and Minneapolis by defunding the police. That's crazy. During his State of the State address, Governor Greg Abbott made protecting law enforcement a top legislative priority. Now he's putting his weight behind a bill that would require local governments that cut police funding or officers to hold elections in communities that were annexed in the last 30 years so that those residents could remove themselves from the municipality. The state would also withhold tax revenue from those governments and direct the funds to state police to fill the gap. And those governments would not be allowed to raise rates or fees on publicly owned utilities. This definitely harnesses the frustration that a lot of people feel about this issue and the governor is in a pretty good position to take advantage of it politically. Austin's vote last year to move $150 million out of the police budget wouldn't be impacted since this bill wouldn't take effect until September 1st if approved. But City Council Member Greg Kassar says it would limit a city's ability to meet the needs of its community in the future. Do you want to punish cities that are trying to protect family violence survivors with a shelter? Do you want to punish cities that are trying to make independent science labs so that DNA evidence can be tested by departments led by science. Political experts say Abbott should be able to rally support. This shows the governor means business. John Engel, KXAN News. A spokesperson for the governor said they are working with several lawmakers on pro-law enforcement legislation. Five other bills have been filed in the Texas House to address defunding of police.